Hello everyone, welcome back to the next Get Trick Spin song from Gold Dash. One thing before we start, please don't skip. If I don't want to sound pity here, but I really try to, I, if you know, I always, usually I buy all the albums, uh, even at least MP3 versions of the albums, just to support the al uh, artist and so I can listen to this music on my free time and like when I'm running around and not have any internet and stuff. I'm a bit of an old school guy. I need these MP3s, but uh, I cannot find Gold Dash for a, a reasonable price at least. The only thing I could find was like an Amazon offer for $110 for like the standard uh, album version, which I do love it, but simply cannot afford to pay that much for one album. And it's not available on CD Japan. Um, I cannot download the mp3 versions here in my country it's not available it says everywhere so please if you do have getrick spin gold dash um please send me the mp3s like uh i need some of these songs i need them in my life like the last one and yeah i really want to listen to it but i can't because i cannot buy it anywhere all right, that out of the way, let's go with frustration. That's a slappy, groovy, nasty bass line. What's that sound? Man. Really heavy. Interesting, just the right side, the guitar. You rap delivery. Okay. Listen to the synth stuff going on. That's really interesting, like in this chorus. You know, the main sound, it's kind of in the middle panning wise, and then you have this synth stuff going like from the far out to the other side. Kind of, yeah, giving a, how do you say that, a frame for the rest of the sound. It's kind of interesting. And also you have this really catchy sound in there that pew, I'm not sure what it is exactly. Maybe that's this aerophone thing? Bass lines.
Like I said, Hana is great as well. Tell him that's this aerophone thing or Oreo. Another very interesting song, very unexpected <clears throat> in a lot of parts. You know, here in the end, it almost sounded to me like it's a ska beat. Um, just talking about the drums itself. But um, yeah, you know, it's probably it's a typical song in that it's a lot of things thrown together. <laughs> so kind of typical for Get Rick Spin. It starts off with that, <clears throat> yeah, more evil, heavy parts. Um, yeah, that I would almost put like in some metal if it weren't for that slappy slap bass by Koga. Then that pre-chorus, it's kind of nice. And then you go in that fun scar wipe. Uh, yeah, interesting uh, combination and a lot of like electronic synth sounds that yeah really mix it up and hit you in all kinds of unexpected areas like just panning wise um so yeah i'm interested to see this live now because someone told me she's using that aerophone this thing here in this performance i think so I still don't know which sounds come out of that. <laughs> we will find out. Man, I love Koga. Okay, that's Oreo. Such a nasty guitar sound. Vocals really fit over this kind of heavier stuff, in my opinion. It's kind of beautiful pre-chorus. Then into that bouncy feeling here. So really catchy backing vocals. So great part. 
everything kind of slowed down for a moment. actually have a really cool lighting show going on. Basically an electronic saxophone, I would say. Okay, that was fun. And I mean, you know, it's the song again. I mean, I've said this numerous times throughout this album. The song itself, um, not as wild and crazy structure wise um, than some of the other stuff, but I would say sound wise, it's starting to get close, at least like these last songs. Like they had so much fun synth stuff thrown in. Um, yeah, that like, yeah, it still gives me like what I want from Gatchorik Spin and what that is. It's like just fun, fun music. And that's exactly what they deliver. I mean, yeah, you you cannot sit still with this kind of upbeat, funky stuff. I mean, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say. I mean, that's basically why I love Gatchewick Spin overall. But like this album, it kind of has a certain reducedness to it that yeah i i'm kind of really digging because to me that means i could just listen to it every time i want if i will ever if i will ever have the actual album or like the songs all right anyway let's check this out no go read it <laughs> I'm kind of confused. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.